Hey guys, this is Enrico with PragmaticReviews.com. Today we're going to create a multi-step bot with Automate.io. In this video, I'm going to show you a multi-step bot where every time that we create a new row in a Google spreadsheet, we are going to create a new post in WordPress. And after that, we are going to create a new Google Doc in a Google Drive folder. Okay, this is the Google Sheet where we are going to enter a new row, including a title and a text for the post. This is the WordPress posts section where we can see all the posts. We don't have any posts yet. And this is the Google Drive folder where we are going to create a new Google Doc with the post content. Okay, let's create a bot then. And as the trigger app, I'm going to select WordPress post that is actually this spreadsheet. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to select new row as the trigger event. I'm going to select the spreadsheet that is called WordPress posts. And I'm going to select the sheet one as the worksheet. Then I'm going to select as the action app, the first action app actually is going to be the WordPress application. And I'm going to select add a post as the action for WordPress. And I'm going to drag and drop the fields to populate the title and the content, taking the fields that I'm going to complete in the WordPress post sheet. And I'm going to add a third step where I'm going to use Google Docs as the action app. And I'm going to select add a document as the action. And I'm going to select WordPress as the parent folder. And I'm going to select the title as the document name and the text as the document content. I'm going to save this. I'm going to activate the bot and I'm going to skip the test. Okay, now we have our multi-step bot ready. We are going to check the activity tab and here we activated the spot four minutes ago. I'm going to add a row here. And this is going to trigger the bot in just a second. And we are going to check that we have a new post in our WordPress application and that we have also a new Google Doc in our Google Drive folder. Okay, the bot is running now. Okay, the bot ran successfully. So now I am going to refresh the posts in WordPress. And as we can see, we have the new post with the test title as the title of the post and we should have a test text as the content. Yes, as the text of the post. And if we go to the WordPress and we refresh this, we should have a new Google Doc document with test title as the name and test text as the content of the document. So that's all I have for today. Thank you for watching and I see you on the next video. Bye.